Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the questions about the engineering hydrology. And the question will be determining the evaporation of the lake. So uh, let's solve the question. First, we are going to read it. Assume that a lake with an area of 71 hectares has an average inflow of 0.21 meter cubic per second and outflow of 120 liter per second during a certain month. Total precipitation in this month is 41.5 and the decrease in the storage is 412,000 meter cubic. Determine the evaporation from this lake, sorry, this lake in meter cubic and in millimeter for this month, assuming negligible seepage from the lake. So we are going to we are going to the seepage will be neglect. Okay, we are going to neglect the seepage. Let's calculate what is inflow and what we have as outflow. For inflow, now we have 0.21 meter cubic per second. Okay, so we have to convert it to the meter cubic. So we are going to multiply. I'm going to show you by the units meter cubic per second, and we are going to multiply with 86. 1400 second over one day and multiplied third sorry multiplied 30 days over one month and from this we are going to obtain the 544,000 320 meter cubic as the inflow of water. The water comes to the our lake. Okay, so we have an also outflow that we lost. The water it gets out from the uh, lake. So what is outflow? Outflow is 120 liter, yeah, liter, liter per second. So for this one, we are going to convert it to a meter cubic. If we want to convert to meter cubic, we are going to divide 120 uh, over 1000. 120 over 1000. And we are going to obtain 0 0.12 meter cubic per second. And now we are going to write also for uh, the outflow, the same multiplication. 0.12, I'm going to write here, 0.12 meter cubic per second, multiplied 86,400 second over one day, and multiplied 30 days for one month. And we are going to obtain 311,040 meter cubic. Now this is also outflow, so let's calculate the precipitation because you can see here 41.5 millimeter as the precipitation for the month. Let's find it. This is precipitation. Okay. And 41.5 millimeter, we are going to convert to a meter. So I'm going to divide this thousand, and this will be equal to 0 0.0415 as meter. Okay. Now we have the in terms of meter. So let's calculate it. Uh, let's find the, the total volume of that. The total volume respect to this area. What is the area? 71 hectare, right? So this is going to be 0. 0415 multiplied 71 and multiplied 10,000 because one hectare is equal to 10,000 meters square. And this will be equal to 29,465 meter cubic. Now we determine these all and also we have a decrease in the storage look at here decrease in storage or storage 4012 yeah for, for, sorry 412000 meter cubic so let's write this 
We are going to write the, the positive ones and the negative ones and we are going to obtain uh, what's going to be as the evaporation. This is the decrease, okay? So, this is going to be plus as positive 545,320. I'm going to show you here. This is inflow. Inflow is positive and outflow negative because we lost the water. What is outflow? Minus 311,040. And we are going to take as uh, positive precipitation because we got the water from the sky because it is positive and take 29465 as now this is the precipitation and minus evaporation okay because evaporation will be negative we are going to uh, write here as minus four four hundred twelve thousand. And now from this equation, we are going to obtain the evaporation. It's going to be 674745 meter cubic. Now this is the total evaporation respect to this area, okay? Uh, respect to this area of lake will be, okay? The evaporation uh, amount is this one. The question is solved. If you like these videos, if you want to see more of the videos, please subscribe and share with your friends. If I did something wrong, please comment. I'm going to fix it. Uh, see you for the next question.